Hey guys, Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors and I've got a video for you today. I know a lot of you have been looking forward to this one. This is the knife, folding knives under $50 shootout, okay? Now I'm probably gonna do some individual videos on the three folders that St. Nick's Knives sent me, but I do wanna thank them for sending these knives to me. If you wanna check any of the stuff out in this video, um, I will put a link in the description, but it's easier to click if you just go down to the first highlighted comment, the one that'll be pinned to the top. That is the link that'll take you to St. Nick's where you can check these out and they pretty much have the best prices on the internet. Uh, <laughs> a lot of times they're better than Amazon, so go figure. Awesome. Uh, and it's always free shipping at St. Nick's. So anyway, they sent me these and I'm, I'll be sending them back after I'm done making these videos, but they sent me three of their best selling knives that are under 50 bucks on their website. Um, and uh, we've got the Spyderco Tenacious We've got the CRKT M16, this is the O3Z, uh, and then we've got the Kershaw Dividend. Now, with me today to help me kind of um, give you a better picture of these knives is my brother, uh, my brother Travis. Um, he is a casual knife user. Yep. He doesn't want to sink a bunch of money into knives. He just kind of uses them as a tool, um, and he doesn't have a bunch of extra in his budget to splurge on knives. Um, and it's not something that he wants to save up for. He has other priorities. Um, so I wanted his perspective on these knives. I let him carry them each for a day or two. Um, and we did a bunch of cutting tests where I let him do all the cutting tests. I did my own, um, but he did some cutting tests and I filmed it. And so as we talk and we discuss these knives, I'm gonna roll in the cut test videos for each knife that we're talking about. Right. Now for a frame of reference, um, what my brother currently owns is a Kershaw Shuffle, about a $20 knife. So any of these I think would be an upgrade. Um, you know, from talking to him, the Kershaw, the Shuffle is, is kind of small and a little blocky um, and he was looking for something a little more sleek. So I said, hey, let's test these out and uh, maybe you can get an idea of, of something that you would want to buy for an upgrade. Um, so with that, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the Spider Co because I like going left to right. Um, so I'll roll in some video of this and just kind of ask my brother some questions and we'll do like an interview style for you and you guys will get both of our opinions. So uh, Trav, for the Spyderco Tenacious, uh, what were the three things that you liked best about it? Okay, um, as far as uh, the cutting was concerned, it was right out of the box, it was nice and sharp and I think just the thinness and profile of the blade made it a very... Um, very sharp knife, really easy to cut with. It, it was good at spearing uh, and everything. So um, sharpness was good. Um, How to feel in hand? It feels good in hand. Um, it's it's decent. You know the the curvature here for your for your pointer finger is is a decent thought, but it kind of gets ruined by uh, the locker and everything. If you look at it, it's, you know this curvature really doesn't make that much sense once it's in your hand. Um, so it's decent in hand, but the flatness of the scales kind of throws you off a little bit. Um, so, you know, it was okay. Um, and I really like the thumb stud, so, or I guess thumb, thumb hole. hole. Yeah. So, you know, closing it and opening it was really, really easy. Especially for someone who's not worried about looking cool and flicking it open fast and stuff like that. Which you can do with it, but for me it was just really nice and easy to use. So I like that aspect of it. Okay. Uh, was there anything that you didn't like about the Tenacious? Things I didn't like um, were the bulk of it. I want a knife to disappear in my pocket. I don't want to feel like I'm carrying, you know, I see some people carrying like multi-tools and flashlights and all this stuff. And that's fine if you're like that. Um, <laughs> but I'm not. You know, I would rather uh, have something disappear into my wardrobe. And if you look at the difference in size between something like his Benchmade to the Spyderco, it's a lot bigger and that was always I was always conscious that that was kind of rattling around in my pocket so I didn't like that okay so it was a bit bulky but it cut well cut well open well easy to use and yeah. it was it felt good in your hand mm -hmm. okay uh, let's move on to the M16 um, what were some things that you liked about this CRKT I'd say the main thing that I liked about it was the opening mechanism mm -hmm. uh, so you you prefer the flipper style I like a flipper um, if you want to talk about ease of use there's nothing easier than pushing a button so this for me 
was was easy it was intuitive um, I didn't do a great job there <laughs> but one thing I really couldn't get around was this locking system the, so auto, the auto locks. the lo auto locks yeah I did not like um, it makes it much more annoying to put back in your pocket um, <clears throat> it feels okay in your hand it's kind of weird with the holes in here and stuff like that so I would say as far as like the grip and everything it just didn't do it for me and it didn't really cut very well either so I really like the flipping mechanism I think it's a it's a nice pointy blade it would probably be good for stabbing and uh, you know burrowing or whatever but as far as I'm concerned it's not a knife that I would like to have um, in my pocket all day because it's really long mm -hmm. and I also don't want to have to do two things to close it. I don't like the two-step close. Yeah. Now, uh, to be fair, I know there's a lot of people that really don't like the auto lock systems, and I've had a lot of CRKTs come through my hands that are good knives otherwise, um, and I just don't like this. And there's plenty of ways to disable that if it's not your cup of tea. Some people really love it, and, and that's cool. Um, I like the CRKT better than, than he did. Um, I, I thought it was it was pretty comfortable. There's a little I don't know where where the um, the lock the stop pins which kind of double as thumb studs where they kind of rest it, it makes a bit of an awkward spot for your finger. Right. Um, but otherwise the the blade opens and closes very well. It's a very smooth knife. Um, I mean you would almost think that this thing's riding on bearings almost. Um, but the auto locks, especially for me being a left-handed person, I I just don't like. Yeah, but it it you can pretty much disable that with a screwdriver. Um, but yeah, you know, and if you if you were watching, he had so like I was like blown away how hard he was having a romp on the sisal yeah. rope to cut through it. Uh, the other two knives seemed to like just kind of blow through it pretty easily, but this one, he was like sawing at it and like bearing down, and I'm like, good grief, that it just it didn't seem it didn't feel dull, so I was surprised that it took that much effort to get through. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think you want a knife to make your life easier, right? You're using it as a tool and stuff yeah. like that. So if it's not doing that, if it's not doing a good job of that, then it's not something I'm interested in. So it just it just seemed to make things more difficult than the other two, that's all. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the Kershaw Dividend. Um, what were some of the things that you really liked about this knife? Um, things I really liked were definitely the, uh, the assist was really really nice yep the speed safe and on the Kershaw yeah, is great anybody can open this knife with ease um, it fits in the pocket really well so it has that kind of disappearing factor that I liked um, as a matter of fact I, I ended up carrying this one longer than the other two just because I liked it uh, it's the same size almost, essentially yeah. almost you know identical with that knife they're a little bit different shape but it's almost the same knife as or the same size as the 940 flips open really easy got a good blade on it it almost performed as well as the spider coat out of the box um, but obviously I know somebody who can sharpen my knife pretty well so I don't think cutting is gonna be a problem even if I got you know the CRKT you can always change the edge on it but I think out of the box this one uh, performed really really well it fit in my pocket the best and it was just the easiest to use you know yep okay um, I know for me um, the overall winner for, for me was pretty clear to be the Kershaw. Um, I, a lot of you guys know I'm a knife dude. I have a lot, um, I've had a lot of higher end knives mm -hmm. and I just per, kind of prefer the finer things in life uh, when it comes to knives. Whoa. It, oh, I, I tend to save up <laughs> for them um, and it's something that I, I like to, to spend money on. Um, I could totally see myself buying this, this Kershaw and I'm almost positive that I will because um, this thing is actually the least expensive of these three, and it's the only one that's made in America. Mm. Um, the best price, um, for me, it had the best ergonomics, uh, the best action, and it's made in the U.S. Uh, I think Kershaw stinking knocked it out of the park with this thing. It's very light, very easy to use. I, I like the knife. yeah. It's it's a great little knife, and and it's made in the U.S. I mean. I don't, Kershaw killed it. I mean, they. I think they're absolutely one with this thing. I mean, even like the backspacer, they put like cool little do details in there and it's just, um, you know, it's got an acceptable amount of grip. It's not the grippiest knife, right. um, but it's more than acceptable for, for everyday carry. 
uh, and I just think it has nice lines. Um, for me, this was the clear winner, uh, especially since it's made in the U.S. and the price is the lowest. Um, you know, this is this is one of those knives that surprises me. Um, to me, this punches well above its price point. Uh, I think this performs uh, and looks and feels like a knife that should cost a lot more. Um, so I think this is the best value out of the three, in my opinion, for uh, the steel that you're getting, because uh, Kershaw uses this Sandvik steel, which, uh, in, in my opinion, my experience in sharpening, uh, outperforms the 8CR13MOV from like the Chinese Spider Co. And uh, I forget what, what uh, CRKT uses. They, they have uh, a couple different levels. Uh, one of is their like Akudo, they call it, or something like that, which is still not that great. Uh, but anyway, I think Kershaw did a great job. Now, Trav, if you were gonna plunk down your money, if you know, if you want to upgrade from your shuffle, and you're like, I still don't want to spend more than 50 bones, mm -hmm. um, which one of these three would you put your money down on, if it came down to it? No doubt in my mind, I would definitely go with the Kershaw. Just seems like the smartest fit for me. Okay. Um, so the one that cut the best, sliced the best, would be the Spider Co. Probably Spider Co. Okay, but it was too bulky in your pocket. Yep. Um, the CRKT. Too complicated. A little too complicated. Okay, yep. and didn't cut all that great. And then we uh, didn't have a great blade. Um, and the Kershaw, good in the pocket. Easiest to use. Very close second on cutting. Yep. And the easiest to use. Yep. And has the best price. And has the best price, yeah. which obviously, if you're not a huge knife guy is really appealing to you. Yeah. If you're going to use it as a tool, if you want something that's reliable, American made, I don't think you can go wrong with it. Yeah. Truthfully, I don't think you'd go wrong with any of these knives, um, but for me, the Kershaw stood out the most and the Tenacious is kind of an old, it's always been a good knife. I made a video a long time ago wanting to hate the Tenacious because I think like most Spider Co's, it's ugly as sin, um, but it, it works well. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you want to check out these knives, go down to the highlighted comment, the pinned comment, and uh, click on that link. It'll bring you to St. Nick's, and uh, you can check out these and a ton of other uh, budget knives and some higher end stuff. They got a lot of fixed blades. Uh, they got all kinds of stuff, so go check them out. I appreciate St. Nick's, St. Nick's uh, sending me these knives to test out. And uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. God bless you guys as always, and I will see you on the next Knife Thursday.